TV and Matt Cleese, Jim Wilbauer. We have a big press conference today at the O2 Arena with me. Got promoted Francis Boren. How are we doing, Francis? Not bad, mate. How are things? Oh, very well, very Good well. Man. Dmitry Chudinov, the WBA interim champion, defending against Chris Eubank Jr. We've just seen him come face to face. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit about this fight, sir. Well, Dmitry, I, th I mean, he looks so confident and relaxed. Um, you know, usually you get guys who are sort of coming over, um, especially if they've you know, been a long distance. They don't look, you know, maybe they've got a bit of travel in them, and they've got a bit of a, they've got, a, they've got to take a bit of time for them to chill out. But Dimitri's well travelled. His first fight, first seven fights were in in the states. Um, you know, he's had two fights over here, so he, he looks like he's he's almost at home. It looks like he's uh, he's not got a worry in the world at the minute. So, in terms of nerves and the the, the, the height of the fight, um, Chudinov doesn't seem to be phased. Chris is as confident as ever, um, and rightly so. He's you know he's a top quality operator, and uh, you know it's going to be a top top fight. I mean you saw the saw the condition of Chris yesterday, as always, looking in top 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 nick. Um, you know it's just two guys who believe that they are top of the game. Interesting enough for his last fight, Chris Eubank Jr. was seen as the underdog. For this side, fight is seen as the favourite. How do you think he feels with that kind of pressure? Well, any of these guys have got immense pressure upon uh, put it upon themselves, and rightly so. You know, this isn't you know, this isn't a tickling competition. They're going in there to hurt each other, and you know they pre prepare like like you know to do their work for like no other job in the world. It's grueling. It's tough. It's it's it, you know they deprive themselves of the things they they that most people take for granted. Um, and and you know they get in there and they're only doing it because the other guy in the corner's got something they want. So you know I think Chris Chris thrives on it um, and I think he'll, you know he's only going to improve and get better and better um, you know the team he's got around him you know he's got his, fa his father for uh, advice and words of wisdom Chris you know Chris senior got to the top of his game doing his thing so you know I think you know, Chris is, Chris junior's got his own sort of way of doing it but um, you know because it doesn't hurt to have a, a couple, of, couple of encouraging words from your dad in your ear I mean the, the comments today from Chris Eubank senior seeing it as England versus Russia Chudinov's team didn't, didn't really like them remarks. No, much, I, was, I, was, I was expecting uh, Vlad Furunov to start getting his flag out, but he didn't do it. He's, uh, he's a passionate guy, Vlad. You should see him at, at Putin and Klitschko. He was, <laughs> he was actually shouting, um, like, like, Rusky, Rusky. It was, uh, it was funny, but, yeah, it's, of course, you know, it's his world-level boxing, so, mm. you know, where you're from and who you're representing is, is all important and, and, uh, and vital to give you that identity from, from where, you, you know, where you're based and and how you fight and the people supporting you um, and you know Chris Chris uh, is um, obviously you know he's very very proud of the fact he's from Brighton but he's, you know, he's been up to, he's just said he's been up to Bolton um, sparring Liam and uh, Paul Smith and he said the reception he's got up there was great so he's obviously transcending t you know to, to fans all over the country and all that you know and, and uh, you know my dad was out in the States last week saying that people are very impressed with him over there as well so you know he's flying the flag for Britain and you know, Chudinov's doing the same for his his his, uh, his country. Could have huge implications. So obviously, Andy Lee defending his world title against Peter Quillen in New York. We've just witnessed Mike Murray very brave performance against Gennady Golovkin um, in Monte Carlo. Chris Eubank Senior seems to think Chris Eubank Junior could beat Gennady Golovkin. So could that be a potential fight that, that you guys could come come to? Well, I mean, Gennady Gennady is uh, he's obviously the WBA full champion um, and. Uh, Chris is challenging for the in interim, so if you're going to stick with that, with the same route um, the, within the WBA, it's obviously a fight that, that if, you know, can, you know, any fight can be made. Um, but I think what what I, I would, would love to see is the rematch between him and Billy Joe. Um, but with Billy Joe having that WBO uh, WBO um, belt round his waist, and he's going to fight the winner of Quillen and Andy Lee on the 11th. He's got Andy Lee and Quillen are fighting on the 11th of April. Yeah, Billy Joe will fight the winner for the for the title. It's becoming a real house of cards. This is getting very interesting. Oh, it's, intri it's intricate. It's intricate. It's, it's intricate and it's interesting and it keeps us on our toes. But you know, we, we you know we love what we do and it's uh, you know it's good for for Billy to get a bit of um, US exposure on the 11th and uh, it builds builds the, his uh, WBO fight up um, with you know with that exposure on the 11th. It, you know, it could generate a bit more interest for him over there. Mm. But um, you know, I would love to see the rematch between Chris and Billy. How big would that rematch be if you threw in a world title belt? I think even without a world title belt, it's huge. Um, but you know, throw that on top, you're definitely, you know, you're definitely looking at a football stadium fight. Mm. Definitely.
Right, well, listen, Francis, we enjoyed the press conference. Get your mate. tickets at www.eventium.co.uk or watch it live on Box Nation this week from the O2. Risky business. Risky it's business. It's been a bit risky, Francis. <laughs> risky, risky business is jumping in in front of me because you're fucking. Uh, All right, uh, uh, <laughs> Kitted out in his John Moncur <laughs> outfit as well. Just been shushed by Eubank Senior. Again. Again. <laughs> Stop swearing in the interviews. <laughs> Top man, cheers. cheers.